video, we're taking a look at the run and gun SDA 545 class setup. I was able to drop two nukes in one game. I know for a fact you guys can tear it up as well. If you're looking for a fantastic class that you can do everything with, this is something to equip immediately. If you guys enjoy, feel free. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications, and uh, let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and create the new absolute best and fastest killing SVA 545 class. This is going to be a perfect, perfect run and gun assault rifle setup. Now, for the first attack, we are going to be running a muzzle, and we are going to be returning to the Shadow Strike Suppressor on this bad boy, just removing us off the radar so we can find their spawn and build up a quick and easy streak. In both gameplays, you're going to see me flanking a lot, and that's all due to the Shadow Strike Suppressor. Definitely a W attachment choice for this assault rifle. Now, we are going to run a barrel on this build, and I highly recommend still running the STV Precision Barrel. This is hands down the absolute best barrel to run on the SVA 545, allowing us to have increased aim, idle, sway, control ability, bullet velocity and range, gun kick control, and more recoil control. We're going to need it because we are going to be running and gunning, but still want to be able to take out players at longer ranges, just in case you run into an MCW or Holger 556 user. We are gonna be running an under barrel on this setup, and because we are running and gunning, we are not going to rock the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. This is not necessary on this build. We are actually gonna be skipping over the FTEC MSP98 handstop as well. I know I always recommend running the FTEC MSP98 handstop whenever you are running a long barrel of some sort that's gonna be going ahead and improving that recoil control. But for the SVA 545, it's gonna benefit greatly from the x10 phantom 5 hand stop which is not only going to help us out at close range but long range as well with that improved sprint to fire speed aim down sight speed vertical recoil control as well as gun kick control definitely a great attachment to run on this assault rifle like i said we are building a run and gun build but we still want to have the ability to take people out at those medium to longer ranges we are leaving the iron sights alone. We are not going to run an optic on this setup. Normally, I'd recommend running the jack glassless. I picked up a class setup off the floor that honestly, I wish the fella had this attachment on. But for this build, we're going to skip over this and we're going to jump right over to the stock. And we're not going to run the main V6 stock like I normally would rock. We are going to be rocking the Markeve R11 stock on this running gun build because it is going to be improving our movement speed, our firing aiming stability, which is really nice here, gun kick control, and more sprint speed. Definitely a great attachment to bump up that close and mid-range handling with this SVA 545, and that's overall what we're trying to accomplish with this setup. And then finally, we are going to run a rear grip on this build, and we are going to be rocking the Citadel grip. This is going to be a good option going ahead and bumping up that gun kick, aim down side speed which is amazing i'm so happy this actually is a part of this attachment as well as recoil control overall a great choice whenever you are trying to run and gun and to put out at those medium to longer ranges with this assault rifle once you jump in the firing range you're going to see that we're going to have a disgusting class setup that is going to have a fa i mean look at how fast this ads is it's crazy and like all of my builds here you are going to have very very controllable recoil and it's going to be a melt machine this is going to be a very nice setup if you're trying to run and gun and dominate at any and all ranges for the main setup we are going to be rocking the core 45 with its conversion kit this is a mandatory attachment on the core 45 because this is going to be the secondary version we are going to rock the 40 round drum we do have on the so skeletal vertical grip we are going to rock the colossus suppressor xs version we do have on the xrk that i have in stock overall just to go ahead and bump up that gun kick as well as recoil control again this is going to be the secondary version of the core 45 that you're going to be using strictly as a backup we are rocking munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers phone conduction headset to hear footsteps and gunfire a lot easier as well as ghosts to keep us off the radar and do not forget to rock that comms vest which is incredible in my opinion giving us essentially a 24 7 uav every time you kill somebody and run over the body you're getting a radar beacon let you know where people are at do not sleep on the SVA 545, especially the aggressive run and gun build. It is a great option if you want to outgun a lot of MCW as well as Holger 556 users as well as other SMG players. If you guys enjoy, feel free. Drop a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn those post notifications. I got a double nuke. I think you guys will enjoy. Let's get into it. 
right, let's get busy with the SVA. We're rocking an iron sight build with this assault rifle today. This is actually a very good setup if you're trying to be aggressive, running gun. So we picked up a long range MTZ. Half the map's not loaded up yet. Come on, game. What's it over here? What? Uh uh. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Yep. Should have kept my pistol. I'm not picking that MTZ up. I didn't realize it was that bad of an MTZ build that I had picked up. I thought it was like, you know, maybe a Corio 2.5X. I think that might have been the Corio 2.5X, but it was just too. Nah. That was a shocked setup. Where these guys at? Snag that little free kill. Pretty sure the spawns are gonna flip. Got that guy just chilling. I got an advance coming up because somebody on my team is streaking. Yeah, this guy on my team is going off right now. I'm only in a six. Seven. Rotate over here. Only problem with this lobby is I got a teammate that's popping off as well. So that means the game is probably gonna end quick. And an eight. Baited my teammate right there, but I did not let him die. Gotta get those kills. You gotta get those kills. At the advanced. Let's get busy. That guy's up top. Why are you going to a corner camp, bum? Rotate this way. Which way is this fella gonna go? I need ammo. I'm actually gonna call this in.
brutal. Where are they coming from? Shit, man. They should be coming from over here. No cap. Yep, they are. Yo, can I not drop? Oh. How'd I get wall bang? That Lily was a nuke, man. If I could drop to the damn floor. I hate that shit, bro. It's, it's like that happens a lot on this game sometimes. You'll just struggle to drop to the floor. And that was a Ram 9 that wall banged me, too, of all things. Those are over here. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Where? Oh, I see him. To be honest with you, this isn't that bad that they're actually on the hill right now. I don't mind that. Let me get away from the area I'm at right now because that's literally why I died last time. I think he will wall bang it or try to teammate got him. Eleven. That shit is. It's probably directly on the fucking hill. Ooh, it was actually on top of this building. Yep, nope. That shit gone. No. Nineteen. Come on, come on, come on. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Hard point relocated. Stand by. Twenty-two. I'm, I'm purposely letting them sit on this shit. Another brutal man, or I was at 24 or 25, I just got popped on. Ah! Damn, that was close.
Hostiles on the run. Damn, bro, I would have definitely dropped too. We have plenty of time this game too. Another nine. I'll just call it in. Fuck it. I know the game's over. See, dude, I could have had a triple this game, probably. Damn. Holy shit. I literally probably could have like a triple, bro. I only have 78 kills. That goes to show you how many gun kills I actually have in this lobby. Like, shit is wild, bro. Oh, man. 81, bro. I think I was about to get on another 20. Let's get busy with the SVA on shoot house man dude i had a blast on favela with this gun man rotate over here nice little headshot oh spawn's already flipped i don't like that rotate this way M13B? Okay. Oh. I got real lucky nobody was behind me because I did not mean to. This is why running a silencer is important sometimes, especially on these smaller maps. Take care. Target area updated. Move to the hard point. EMP is ready for the EMP. Move quick while their systems are down. The thing is, a lot of the guns that I've been noticing this, and I said every single time I pick up a mono for two weapon. A lot of the MW2 guns that like really weren't hard meta are just amazing in this game. Like that M3, like the M13s hit. Like the B, you know, it was good at MW3, but look at this. Okay. <laughs> Y'all did not see that. Bro, I have a, out of all the optics they have on this card, why are you running that shit? That's all you good shit. They're all underneath me, or I should say, technically. Yep. On 23. 24.
Relax. Snag that kill for real. You're halfway to mission complete. Finish it. Hard point relocated. Holy shit, look at how bad that spawn is. Oh, we got the nuke. I didn't really even see it pop up. I just saw it in the corner. Let's go. I was like, bro, I know I'm close as hell to this. I heard his footsteps. What is that optic that fella has, bro? You need to get on. You need to get on the Jack Glasses program. What? Some of the shit that these guys be fucking running is so stupid. Rotate this way. I was too close. What did he have? I bet you he had the M13. That might be the M13 guy. I just kill those guys up spawn. AFK. Take this way. Hard point relocated. Secure the target area. Enemies inside the perimeter. Thank you for that stun, teammate. That was incredibly convenient. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. You got the 60. That's a double. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Oh, he threw the drone. Hey, but look, we got the double. Let's go, baby. 68 gunny. All right, we got this set. I believe this is 70 KD. Yeah.
And, nope, I died. Literally, just right before the nuke dropped, I died. I got a kill, though, with it, so it is what it is. I mean, I died literally right when that damn nuke dropped.